Is today finally the day, the final adventure of Mr. Cringe himself? Uh, hopefully. <laughs> the day that we take everything back from the Mafia and the day that we restore order and give Mr. Cringe control over his own destiny and let him go about his own adventures far, far away from me. I, uh, jokes aside, though, a lot of people do seem to think I hate the series. I don't hate the series. I don't name any series. Because if I hate the series, I would just drop the series and move on, right? Uh, the, uh, the problem with this series is one of time. I'm spending six hours a day fixing a mod pack so that I can record for 12 hours a day so I can edit for three hours a day and then upload it over the course of three hours. Uh, you can kind of see that that becomes a little bit of a, a problem. I don't hate the series. I just hate the fact that I don't have time magic. And I think that's a reasonable complaint to have. Over the course of yesterday, we prepared our people with weapons and armor, defenses and traps and turrets in the arena, and fortifications to fall back on when all of that goes horribly, horribly wrong. And all of this, as a reminder, is because we actually were never able to pay off the debt because the interest was far higher than I think anybody could have ever possibly accrued and setting it to zero had no effect whatsoever. <laughs> so we'll pay back that debt, all right. We're gonna pay it off with blood and a fire and anti-material rifles like a lot of fire though and some lego stand your ground my lumpers slime people and ginger bread uh, arsonists it's time mr cringe it's time that we press the button all debts are cleared oh uh seizure bankruptcy all faction debts will be cleared instead they take 70 percent of all your items Oh. I mean, that seems like a good deal. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I'm actually very glad they left apple pie with clothes. Thank God. Now I don't have to censor anything. Ah, oh, that was it, huh? Well, that was an easy solution. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the series. We'll be back. <laughs> Could you imagine the temptation in my heart? To legitimately end the episode there is... Uh, it's palpable. No, but of course, it is inevitable that we need to have our Cringe Mafia showdown. <laughs> Mr. Cringe will don his peppermint armor once again and we will go to war. And in fact, on the subject of going to war, even though we weren't able to hire the pirates who instead just ran off with my money, which, in hindsight, shouldn't have been much of a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Those pirates stole my silver. Who could have predicted that? What if, instead of hiring pirates, we hire the closest things to a common section I can get in reward? That's right, clowns. Look, request military aid costs five war bonds with the clowns. Now, I don't think I have any clown war bonds right now because I sold them all. But we can pick up a few of those pretty easy, given that every trader and their mother tends to keep them on hand. The problem is we have to win over the clowns first, because they're very, very hostile with us right now. Uh, what do clowns love more than anything else? That's right. Cold hard drugs. <laughs> Wait, I've destroyed the market for Yayo. It's only worth 342. Oh, in fact, it's almost... Wait, it's not profitable to make Psychoid into Yayo anymore. Because how many Psycho loses is it per Yayo? Like 10? What a weird world we live in. What else do clowns love here? Ah, uh, they love chainsaws. <laughs> hey, enemy now neutral with the crazy clown posse. I, I mean, you mean I've got to send them more stuff. Maybe that's enough. Maybe they, maybe they can just be neutral so that we can call them in. I never thought I'd die fighting side by side with a clown. What about a friend? No, 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 I don't think we'll go that far. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I forgot I killed the faction leader. Fucking magnets. And they've just... <laughs> they just shot into fucking policemen. Oh, man. Okay, so we don't have the war bonds for it, but luckily there's a uh, thousand muffalo waiting for my trade. Clown base. Oh, they've only got one? Oh, damn it. Okay, okay. Well, that's just one trade, Karen. What about the other? And we've had a bulk goods trade to turn up. It's all coming up cringe. No. Oh. Oh, I regret saying those words. Well, that's three. Ah, Father Travelers. There you go. We might as well just buy the lot. Why not? Friendship ended with the Mafia. Clown's my new best friend. Hang on, hang on, hang on. If I give them a call now, uh, that's still nothing. Maybe, maybe it's because they're not actually in the stop power yet. Okay, okay. Give it a second. Don't lose hope. I have barely got any hope left after this series. I'll be completely honest with you, but don't lose hope. Where did my war bonds go? I dropped over here somewhere. Land in a kitchen again? Okay, take two. If I can't hire five... 
Hostile. Oh. Right, so we can't call them in because the clowns hate commentocracy. How ironic. <laughs> oh, bollocks to this. All right, hey, get out. Uh, get out. Uh, you're gone. Uh, we're, we're shutting down the airspace. Goodbye. Uh, I, I mean, that would be the responsible thing to do anyway. I'm saying as if that's a, a real big problem, but we're about to invite all out war here. Yeah, if anything, I'm doing that muffalo bodied man there a favor. Oh, they're in the friggin' beds too? Right, that's for prisoners now. <laughs> get out, for God's sake. It's about to be a battlefield, you fools. Uh, allow new guests. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. We are just about to enter a whole new season. I don't remember what it's called, so I'm stalling for time while my brain desperately tries to remember. Shit. September. September, of course. We're, we're, we are quickly about to enter September. Now, everybody knows that the Mafia is at its weakest on the 5th of September. I'm going to give Cringe and his squad five entire days to prepare for what is to come. And it turns out what is to come right now is probably me. And here we are, two hours before the final day begins. And once again, Mr. Cringe is using his time as wisely as possible. I mean, I said that ironically, but I'm sure there are people who actually legitimately believe that. They, they, they all seem to be in Discord, strangely enough. You're probably wondering, how did you use those final five days before we go into all out war with the mafia did you use it to prepare yourself mentally and physically did you use it to construct new areas to confound and 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 kill the invaders uh, i mean what i did do is i put down a bunch of decoys that they didn't build <laughs> I, I i put down a few things and they kind of just started it but then like didn't i didn't do anything with it i don't know why it took them five days to do it or five days to not do it we have the wood that's not a wood problem it's never a wood problem. You've seen Mr. Cringe over the courses today. We filled the cringe corridor with a bunch of bunch of traps. That was pretty good. Uh Wow, I think that was actually all I built. Ha. Huh. You you literally had one job and didn't do it. I even made Laffy into a bloody builder. Hey, wake the fuck up, Samurai. We've got stuff to do here. You don't get to sleep. Who's for the builder? It's Hunk. Dr. Hunk? For fuck's sake, man. Come on. It's ridiculous. Look, I complained about this in Discord earlier, but it is entirely my own fault. I have built a base that spans the entire map north to south. In this case, is where they're having to run to do this job. And this is, to clarify, a completely normal, very standard remote map. It takes them two hours to go and have lunch. This were I, I, I bought this on myself. I really did. Next series. Next series. We're going to have a nice little base. It's going to be on the river. Okay. We're going to build some buildings around it. And it's all going to be next to one another. The bedrooms are going to be adjacent. The workroom is going to be adjacent. It's all going to be one building. We're going to live out of a single building. And it might not be quite as extravagant as Mr. Cringe's theme park, but... My God. <laughs> Imagine them taking less than five days to build a decoy. They built a single decoy and he had to stop for lunch. He did the tiniest bit of work and he already taken a break. What are you, a Twitch streamer? I'm, I'm, I'm joking. Twitch streamers work really hard. Once every 20 minutes, they have to go, <laughs> as they watch Avatar The Last Airbender. Get paid millions and millions of dollars. Millions, Flicker. I don't know who Flicker is. You sit there and you eat your lunch and play Among Us. Whatever it is they do on there. Scream profanities on Fortnite. Not like you all here. Not like all you all you people in the YouTube comment section. No, no, no. You're 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 the you're the hard workers. This is this is real. This is this is the real place to be. We're on the goddamn front lines. You use Six seconds of a song from last century, and that's it, brother. You're going in the slammer. Hope you weren't planning on paying rent this month, you worthless piece of shit. <laughs> ah, I hate this platform. I hate you, Laffy. Honestly, I hope the Mafia wins at this point. I hope the Mafia wins. And here it is, my friends. Dusk on the 5th of September. The day when the Mafia is at its weakest. For reasons I... Quite frankly, have no idea. All that remains is to call them up and let them know what for. We're 8.6 million silvers in debt, by the way. Uh, yeah. Insult the godmother. Susanna, you see, nobody insults the godmother and gets away with it. You're a huge arsehole. That's why you are, Susanna. Susanna, family Susanna, is really pissed off. You'll be raided in seven hours. Well, well, well. If it isn't my old enemy, Family Susanna. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
<laughs> Wait, I thought we had compressed raiders. Has that not worked? It has worked. Oh, it has worked. 150 friggin' one compressed raiders. Oh, well, guess I'll die. <laughs> ha! Look at them! Oh, this is a disaster. What do you think? You think this is gonna hold up to it? You think my Lego bricks on the floor are gonna survive this? This is a war! Ah, oh, shit. Uh, I mean, hold on. We do have something here. Something that if I can... I don't know how I'm gonna pull this off, if it's even possible. We have a... We have a dangerous weapon hanging around in our arena. I would need someone to sacrifice themselves, wouldn't I? And I think there's only one person for the job. Maybe person is the wrong word to use. <laughs> okay, but my friend, you have had a difficult time in this colony, but if you pull this off, you will go down in legend. Pure, unadulterated legend. You will be up there with Robo Daddy and Arcadius and the greatest of the greats. My God, they are already through the cringe corridor. They are pouring in here. Okay, well, that can see through metal bars, apparently. I, I, God knows what the hell those rockets are made of, if they can fit through that. Turns out the compressed Mafia Raiders were very unfazed by the banana peels. So um, that's my first idea. Gone to shit. And now they are in to the turret fields where they are being harassed by my rocket launchers. And the rocket launchers are doing good damage to say that these people are hideously strong. What the hell's going on up here? Are they trying to dig through? What the hell are they doing? Is this a siege? No. It can't be a siege. They're just confused. They're just confused. That's okay. Leave them alone. That's not their problem. They're probably the lower paid grunts. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Cringe. Do us a favor, big man. Seal that door. Seal that door. Kegbit, you're on, my friend. This one is entirely down to you now. Look at them pouring in. Pouring into their doom. Good night, sweet prince. You will not be forgotten. You are going to be up there with the best of the best. Void Joris, I've come to bargain. Get him. Yes! Oh, I'm a genius. Kegbit, you can get out of there. Kegbit, Kegbit, Kegbit. Time it, time it, time it. Get out, get out. Go, go, go. Go, Kegbit, Kegbit, Kegbit. That door is about to shut. Go. Go. Five, four, she's in. Some of the mafia. Ah, oh, shit. She's in. Look, let's be honest here. Kegbit's not trapped in there with the mafia. They're trapped in there with Kegbit. <laughs> oh my god, it is perfection. It is perfection. This is more successful than anything I could have ever imagined in my wildest dreams. They're tripping on the Lego. They are vomiting from the weapons that we threw on the floor. And now they are fighting the strongest of all the Jorises. I even said when I, when I, when I came up with this arena that this would be a modern Colosseum. A Colosseum fit for cringe. And we have done it. We have trapped our mortal enemies. Threats to this here cringy empire. And now they die. They all horribly die. Okay, Kate, but you are a, you're a lunatic. You are actually insane. I think she can get out. Holy shit. I, I had her in there as a martyr. And I think she's legitimately just going to walk it off. Oh my god, both of her eyes have been poked out. Oh my god, look at that thing. That's a fucking creepy pasta. I mean, I would say Kekvit has seen some shit, but I'm not sure that applies. <laughs> oh my god. And the cold Mr. Cringe does not smile, for he knows what he has done here was a necessary evil. He takes no pleasure and no joy in watching them be ripped apart by the Void Joris, eh? Void Joris? Did they actually kill it? No, they didn't. You... Let's on fire. Burning. Fire size 145. Kegvit killed Void Joris. Oh, Void Joris is back up. Can't defeat Void Joris. Is he still Manhunter? He's not Manhunter. He's calmed down. He saw this face. A fearsome Void Polar Bear and decided, actually, I think I'm okay. Oh my god, I actually kind of feel bad for it. <laughs> Are you winning, son? I'll be honest. I'm not sure, Dad. <laughs> I, I don't know. 
I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I mean, they certainly don't seem to be having a good time. Oh, then again, neither do we. Do you want medical assistance? Uh, I, I think... I think the right play now would be go and pop this door open. Because then they have to go through the longest route to get over to us. And that gives us more chance of potentially shooting them horribly dead. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. But this is a bit dangerous or cringy. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Pop the door, hold the door, and run, 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 run. So fast. Fastest man who has ever run because we've just given them... Oh, God. Please blow that man away. Please fire. For God's sake, shoot something. Oh, shit. Oh, cringe. Oh, Mr. Cringe himself. Okay, hear me out here. Hear me out. Full retreat. Like, like actually straight up full retreat. I think Mr. Cringe could be in a little bit of trouble here. No. Not like this. 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 Come on, this thing's rescue. Bleeding out in seven hours. Not like this. Anything but this one. Kekvit, you brave fool! My god, in her final act of defiance, she lit fire to the grass to try and cut them off. Holy shit. Uh, Sigma, man the utility console. Sigma, man the utility console. Sigma, I don't know if I fucking stuttered there, big man. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. This is fine. Surface the wall. Surface the wall. Apple pie, get the hell out of there. Holy shit, we are actually getting like straight up overrun. Um, are we, do we need it manned while the wall goes up? Shit, shit, shit. Nice, 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 nice. Fine, 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 fine. Acceptable. Spoonie. Spoonie gets a bonkin. Spoonie gets a bonkin fast. Monsters are fleeing. Holy shit, we're not all of them, though. Only some of them. How's, how's Cringe doing? Seven hours, seven hours. He's still fine. Come on, get her out of there. Get her out of there. Come on, bonker. Get away from Apple Pie. They're taking Mr. Cringe. If only. If only we had some way to stop them. Send in the clowns. <laughs> Holy shit, look at them! That was maybe the best thing I've ever seen. We are being saved by a bunch of coked up clowns. What is this series? This, uh, <laughs> what's happening? And just when the Mafia thought they had won and taken cringe, here come the clowns. Yes! <laughs> I, I, I have tears streaming down my face. I don't even know where Mr. Cringe is at this point. <laughs> and I'm going to be honest, I don't care. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think the clowns are going to stop them all. But my God, they have made a, a, a friend for life here. And to help the clowns, our people have just arrived. Sprinkles, loyal, precious Sprinkles. First of all, the Lumpers is here to try and help Cringe. A man who enslaved him, but a man he ended up becoming friends with. A close companion. Unbelievably. A goddamn ally. Oh, and there he is! Spoonie! Strongest of all the lumpers! Sprinkles, 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 sprinkles! Sprinkles! Come on! No, 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 not like this, not like this, not like this. Sprinkles, sprinkles, sprinkles! Sprinkles, what the fuck, man? Shot the sentry, shot the sentry, come on, come on! Yes! Did you fucking see that? Did you actually see that? No! Oh! Stop him, stop him, stop him, sprinkles. No, no, I can't, I, I can't do anything. That's it. You can't, you can't do this to me. They've got him. Spoonie is dead. <sighs> Mr. Cringe has been kidnapped by family Susanna. However, he is not lost forever. An opportunity to rescue him may present itself in the coming days or years. Get him out of there, Sigma. I'm not losing anyone else today. Laffy, go home. What a lesson. What a journey. Apple pie. Pick him up. Let's go get sprinkles. How are you looking, little sprinkles? 12 conditions need 10, but otherwise fine. Dr. Hunk's doing okay as well. 
Kekvit? Kekvit's fine. Oh. No, Kekvit is not fine. <laughs> you know, I mean, these loopers are made of tougher stuff than you'd assume. They, re they really are. I won't remember the exception of Spoon, except for the one literally encased in... My God, Kekvit actually got up. I am... I am in awe. Will we ever financially recover from this? The answer, my friends, is yes, because we didn't actually sacrifice anything besides a few clowns to do it. And you're probably thinking, what about Mr. Crench? Oh, I know what I said. We sacrificed a few clowns to do it. Can we recover is the better question. I'm going to take everybody off of firefighting because it's currently a drought, which means there will never be rain. So this has to burn until there is nothing else to burn. And yeah, I think that's, um, I think that's absolutely, uh, absolutely the case. What a fantastic fitting end for the cringe card, although. A, a metaphor. Built out of cringe's madness and destroyed because of cringe's madness. I like it. Well, through some absolute miracle, everybody is tucked up in bed safe and healing. It's okay, little keg, but I, I, I understand. I completely get it. <laughs> I'll probably do a little damage assessment to see where we're looking at this point, huh? Uh, apple pie, completely fine. She's made of slime. You kind of assume so. Uh, sprinkles, and his jaw shattered. Oh my god. Okay, uh, lumpers can't do surgery. So that means to see the Dr. Kekvit, which is horrifying, or Dr. Apple pie, which might be worse. Laffy is fine. Like, completely fine, more or less. Uh, Dr. Hunk. Oh, shit. Nose shattered, femur shattered, tibia shattered, foot shattered. Minor diabetes. Ah, oh, God, the worst of all. Sigma is fine with the exception of the food poisoning. They also got hit by a bottle of vodka, which is hilarious. And then cake fit. I mean, Jesus. I mean, Jesus. Yeah, both her eyes cut out by switchblades. That is... That's really horrible. Oh, and another good news, Void Joris survived. How you doing, little Void Joris? Oh, it's okay. He's just got a bit of a mangled brain. <laughs> I mean, credit to whatever Mafia guy decided to go for Void Joris in the... Oh my God, I thought he was trying to hunt our people then. So now comes the real question. Do we get him back? Do we go on this grand and glorious crusade to get back Mr. Cringe? Mr. Cringe, the psychopath who willingly got himself into organized crime, a massive debt to the mafia so that he could fulfill his ridiculous fantasies. He was not a good person. And I think the truth of it is he doesn't need a happy ending. Maybe this is the best and most fitting ending for that man. But it would also be a shame for him to just be killed in mafia captivity so i think we we go an eye for an eye or perhaps i should say a pie for a pie onlyfans.com slash mr samuel streamer there is a new person in charge of this factory this factory that might be the richest base on the face of this planet this factory that has earned many many allies there is a new person in charge and that person is apple pie. You see, in all this madness and desperation, trying to earn enough money to be able to pay off this debt to the Mafia, which we now know was never able to be paid off at all. We built roads for other factions. We gave these massively favorable trade deals to everybody that came by just because we were so desperate to get every last penny. And you see, what began with the campaign of being one man versus the world with everybody friends with the Mafia has ended up being an entire world friends with... Mr. Cringe. Or in this case, at least friendly with Mr. Cringe's faction, which now defaults to its CCO. Apple Pie. Ah, oh, for 2OA, is it? Ah, oh, 100,000 silver one. I'm sure I can find that somewhere. Ah, oh, do my eyes deceive me, or is that Godmother Susanna herself? Now, originally, the plan, of course, was to keep her around, have her grow some chocolate, and eventually turn her into a gingerbread man using the very chocolate that she herself produced. But now, of course, we're in this weird cold war with the Mafia. They can't attack while we have Susanna, and we can't attack while they have Cringe. And you know what? It's a nice little arrangement. Ah, oh, but there's no reason we still can't go with part of the original plan, at least, keeping around to uh, help produce some delicious bars of chocolate. 
but not actually running the machinery and baking the chocolate, of course. That would be far too easy. And then we'll throw in a growth stimulator as well so that we can carve bits off her nice and safely and bake it into the goods. Don't worry, Susanna. Even though you're no longer in the hearts and minds of the people of this planet, you'll at least be in their stomachs. Excellent. Thank you, apple pie. Her hunger rate multiplier is up. Her tiredness is up, but that's okay. We've got those IV drips finally coming in handy after all this time. And now, occasionally, tiny little bits of Susanna will drop off that we can bake into the most delicious cannibal chocolate going. And though Mr. Cringe never got his freedom, he never got his factory of his childhood dreams i think that this ending is maybe exactly what he deserves cringe was a greedy flawed selfish man and that was his very undoing the umpers got their union settlements out there in the world benefited from the massive influx of food and the giant economy that he brought to this planet faction relations throughout the planet have never been more stable with the normally hostile clown posse actually becoming uh, becoming an ally of somebody mr cringe did right by everybody except himself well and except for all those people who murdered in horrible death machines <laughs> but other than that mr cringe did well by everybody and overall remember that even if people are doing terrible things to themselves, sometimes it is the knowledge knowing that they have helped others that helps them to where they need to go. Which in my case today is to bed because it's currently 5 a.m. <laughs> and finally, of course, thank you for joining me on the adventures of Mr. Cringe. The Lumpers will continue about their day-to-day -day factory life, making profits and feeding the planet and entertaining the guests. Apple Pie will continue being the power behind the throne all along, running the day-to-day -day operations of Cringe Corp. And Kegfit, our poor, sweet Kegfit, will remain horrifying. <laughs> and Sprinkles. Sprinkles is doing good. Thank you for asking. And this was not at all the ending I originally had in mind. I wasn't even planning on ending it when we did as we did as it all unfolded but i feel like given everything this is for the best some people don't deserve redemption arcs some not 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 every story has to end in a happy way and i like it because it leaves things a little bit open-ended huh and who knows maybe we'll see mr cringe and sprinkles and apple pie and cake for all for one more journey in the future and finally of course thank you all for watching I hope you've enjoyed what has been a, quite frankly, turbulent series, both for the series itself uh, and from a technical point of view, it has been a utter nightmare. But you know what? I had a lot of fun with it. And it, it was a weird series. It was something I never thought I would do. And I certainly wouldn't have come up with off my own accord. And I had a lot of fun with it, despite despite popular rumor. Otherwise, as I said, if there was ever a series I wasn't having fun with, I would just scrap it and move on. But here we are, ready for another fresh slate on the topic of that of course there is it is very likely that there might not be an episode tomorrow while i finalize new mod packs new ideas new series uh, everything that goes into that the the mod list on steam all of the other stuff too so please bear with me on that one i'll keep updating on discord with an eta and things like that in the general announcements channel so if you do just want to join there to follow that and then leave afterwards that's obviously the best way to go about it if you just want an update for that one but i will be updating that as and when i know things in the future as a quick update for patreon as well i still not, have not received a two-factor authentication code to be able to log into my patreon i am waiting a reply from customer service to explain why the hell i can't get into my patreon uh normally they just text you a code that you type in when you log in and i haven't got it for three days now and i'm getting kind of annoyed so many apologies on that front. I will get back to you all as soon as possible. My apologies that I haven't been able to send back replies to the last batch of messages that I've checked. But I do have replies waiting in Discord, ready to copy and paste over there whenever we're finally ready. Thank you in the meantime to X Dr. Don MD, Sweetsy, Lemon, Chicken, Dirt Nerd, Facunda Vasquez, Emily, Angry Welder, Glacier, Olivia Misap, Naughty Pickers, Buen Gun, Hoaxor, Jaspanzi, El Chalupa Cabra. Gammon Jude and Mythomatic, along with, of course, everybody else over at the executive producer tiers over on Patreon for making this series exist in the first place. Thank you all for making it happen. Now, in, if you're also interested, I don't really do enough cross-promotion on the second channel. We've just finished Hades, about to start a new series on there. Haven't 
I have no idea what we're doing yet, but I have a series in mind. So go and take a look at that if you would like something other than Remod on the Elise and Sam channel, which should be linked in the description. We are playing Resident Evil 7, a series we started when the game first came out and then dropped for six months. And now we've come back to it uh, because we were going to play Trucking Simulator and I realized I didn't have it installed on this new version of the PC that I've built. So that was a good idea. Thank you as well to Erotha, Icy the Great, Crobe, Donald, Drunken Scott, Cameron, Psychaotic Burst, Thura, Natna, Edzuki, That Bark Guy, Just Mass, Ordinary Kaiju, Septimless Miscreant, Dodger, and Mr. Meeseeks as well for their support on Patreon. All the patrons, thank you, and everybody who's watched this series, and of course all the modders who deserve a special credit this time around for really bring the series up a notch. Thank you to all of those guys, and I'll put special links to everybody who made this possible even more so than usual. And I'll see you all next series. Goodbye. Finally, bedtime. <laughs>